So let me remind you what we did last time. We started with log function, right? And log function is the inverse of what function? Log function is the inverse of, hmm? yeah, exponent, right? So if I, someone asks you, um, what is the inverse of log function? You say expo, exponential function. What is the inverse of exponential function? You say log function, right? So those two are inverses, meaning they undo each other. When they next to each other, um, they undo each other, right? Um, back back then, long times ago, I don't know if you remember. I asked you to do the. You can remember the composition uh, function. I, I asked you to put a function inside a function. Do you can remember that? I think it was quiz one or something like that, um, or exam one. Don't write this down. So I have f of x and so something something, and then g of x again, something, right? And then when I ask you to plug it in, f of g of x, to see what you got. And you, at the end, you have just x. And then I ask you to do the other way around, g of f of x. And then when you, when you compute that, you have x again. So the two, this, I wanna say prove, is show that f and g are inverse of one another. I mean, they undo each other, right? The two big functions when they, Put into each other, things collapse, right? So all you have is just x. And then you see it again for log and exponential, which is, uh, we'll talk about that later, <clears throat> but that just gives you a heads up. I want to mean undo. <clears throat> okay, so um, if you don't remember anything at all, at least you remember these two things, log equal exponents, remember that, because this will help you solve and, and right. log equal exponents. And then um, the, the little tornado arrows as well. Okay. So you can switch between exponential and log. <clears throat> so remember those two things, at least you can remember. All right, All right so let's continue. Um, if I don't say, if I write just log, then it's, it's gonna be understood as log base 10. Right. Ln is log base e. So Ellen is the same thing as writing log. Natural log. Let's solve this one. Now, I don't know how to solve for log, not yet, but I know how to solve for exponential function. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, sw I'm gonna turn this into exponential function using the little arrow thing. So x squared, am I recording? Yeah. x squared equal 49. So far so good? Do you know how to solve for x or x equal? <laughs> yes, x equals seven. Um, um, you're just lucky because in this problem, it is, we only take one, the x equals seven. But if I just ask you out of nowhere, say it's not, this is not related to the law. If it's out of nowhere, I ask you to solve this equation. Uh, what do you do to get seven? Yeah, you square both sides, right? But remember, when you square both sides, what do you have to add? Plus and minus, right? because negative seven squared is also 49, right? Um, but again, um, but again, I say we choose, we choose x equals seven. We don't choose x equal negative seven, why? That would be my final answer. But why don't we choose negative seven? Oh, well, why, why? Why can't it be negative seven? <laughs> Very good. Remember, remember exponential function. B has to be what? B has to be positive or, and not zero, right? It cannot be negative. So therefore, we cannot choose negative seven. Because log base B, then B cannot be negative. <clears throat> Um, and then let me write down here because B had to be greater than zero and B cannot be be one. Um, hmm. Remember Y equal B to the X that. Okay. All right. Um, you guys saw number two. What do you have?
I have x cubed equal to, how do I solve it to? You take what root? Q root, right? Do I need plus and minus? Do I need plus and minus? Like doesn't square root. Why? No, I don't need it, but why? Like you gotta know why, otherwise you'd be like, oh, when do I use the plus and minus why I, when I don't, right? Uh, why do I want to use plus and minus as a square root? <laughs> yeah, well, for, yeah, very good, very good, very good, very good. Um, because just just uh, because of this. Um, because. Uh, don't, don't write this down. Um, if, if, if I have minus, so just say I have minus q root of three or q, q root of two. Okay, I just say I have that. If you cube that, what do you have? <clears throat> Negative two, right? So, so x, x, e, x cube equal negative two, but, but at the beginning I have x cube equal two. Um, another reason is that for odd root, not just cute, like fifth root, seven root, they don't, they don't, they don't care about negative. They'll take negative. If you look at the graph, yeah. <clears throat> if you look at the graph. That's my answer. <laughs> um, <clears throat> You look at the graph here. <clears throat> so let's take a look at the square root graph. What happens in the square root graph? What does it start? What's the domain? Why, why, don't we, why don't I, why, why can I not take negative energy for x? What happened when I put negative energy for x? Here? Not a real function, not a real function, right? Um, you can, but it's gonna be something else called imaginary, right? And then you need a different, different, different coordinate system to graph that because you can't see in the real coordinates. Um, for the Q one, not really, it's pretty easy going. Look at the Q, cubic, it's Q roots, I'm sorry, Q, Q roots. It takes everything, right? I'll take everything on the number line. Right, so it's pretty easy going. Um, it's true for any odd root, like fifth root, seventh root, ninth root, whatever. But for, for the even root, the square root, four root, six root, they don't like negative under the root. So that's the reason why. Well, lucky for you. Now, um, it's not always choose positive, okay? It's not always true. Uh, sometimes I can take negative two. But we'll talk about that later. But for the base, B cannot be negative. What else cannot be negative in the log? What else cannot be negative? Go back, go back, go back. Um, is there a definition of a log here? The next one can be negative, it's fine. The input, right? If, if you try this in your calculator, try this, see if you um, get anything. Log, just log, just be tens of negative two. What does it tell you? What does it tell you? Hmm? Error, right? Because it's out of the domain. Remember the, the graph of log? Where is the graph? Right here. What does it start? Something to the right zero, right? The, the blue one, by the way. It will start from here, meaning I can take. I can take things that are very close to zero from the right, but I cannot have anything zero at that point, right? So they don't like negative number for the input. <clears throat> but again, don't don't um, confuse yourself. I'll remind you as we go along. But right now, just remember the base cannot be negative or one. You guys saw number three, number four. You should be able to just know I saw number three, which did a lot of time.
Oh, bonus check mark for you to answer your question earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, every time I say you're right, then just, just go ahead and give yourself a bonus check mark, okay? I'm not going to say give bonus check mark for you all the time. Um, anyone have an answer for number three? Just tell me the equation that you set up. Just the equation. Power of X. Good. We saw this last time from 3.1. Do you have the answer? All right, what base you should change it to? Base. <laughs> base. Four, right? So four to the what power? Give me 64. Four Q, right? Four Q. Um, on the left hand side, I don't have four. But I have I have one fourth. So what do I have to do? I have to flip it, right? And you flip the the power the the power chain the size. So um, four to the negative x. Well, four over one, but we don't write the over one. <clears throat> now you can cancel the four. So negative x equal three. <clears throat> Better yet, x equal negative three. It's okay in this case. It is okay because three, negative three is not a base, nor the input, it's the output. The output is okay, it's gonna have a negative number. Um, let me show you how to check this on your, I forgot to tell you to check. Oh, darn it, I forgot to tell you to check. Um, the log, you must check. I'll show you how to check with this one. <coughs> Here's your calculator. Um, I'll show you, I, I did tell you, go to math, right, last time, math. And then, because log base is all the way at the bottom, and it's going circle, so let me take that upward arrow. Right there, log base. Base, uh, one four, so it's just point two five quarter. And then, what number inside? Is it 64? Okay. Negative three? Good. So we, good. Yes. <clears throat> because we have the rule, the um, power exponential rule. If I have one over a to the n is equal a to the negative n over one, right? Or you have a to the m over one is same thing as one over a to the negative n. Every time you flip, every time you flip, you change the, the size of the powers. <coughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, number four should be easy. Someone tell me the equation. What, two what? Two to the first was just two equal. Yeah, five. that's your input, right? Um, so now you know how to solve this. So five X equal plus one. Thank you. <laughs> Um, equal one, x equal one fifth. <laughs> you can check. Let's check. Let's put one fifth on x. You can do it by hand. You have to use calculator. <laughs> Five times one fifth is one. One plus one is two. Is log base two of two equal one? Yes, right, yes. Um, log base two of two equal what? Equal one, right? Because two to the first equal two, right? Well, you can put in your calculator and see what log base two of two equal. Let's say one. Um, there's another rule coming up. Keep your hands up. If you have log a b of b, <coughs> equal one. 
on the exam, I will remind you to check. That's part of your credit. Um, you don't have to show me the work, but at least put the like a double check mark or check mark next to the answer. So I know that you check. <clears throat> this one right here. Any suggestion? Any suggestion? What's LN mean? Yeah, which is, if I rewrite it, it's a lot, lot base what? Base, just the letter. Um, e. <laughs> e, right? E, uh, e, and then rewrite that. So LN is log base E. Remember, we call. LN is ascending as log base E. Back, back, back in the few slides. Um, and then rewrite E to the 4X. I like to put my input in parentheses. It's a good habit. I recommend it. You don't have to, it's just a good habit. Um, now you do the little arrow thing. Can someone tell me the equation? Yeah. Now you just, E just drop, right? Now this imply A equal four X, X equal two. See if it checked out. We can check. Uh, I'm going to plug in two here just to see if it's right. It's going to equal to eight. So, ln of t to the four x. On your calculator, ln is right here. So, it's showing my. Okay, all right, it's good now. Ellen is right here. So Ellen, press that. Um, e to the four x, x is two, so e to, e to, e to the eight, right? Um, second, and then Ellen again, give you e to the power of something, right? So second, and then Ellen again, like I e to the, let's say e to the eight. So we we good, right? So that means we have the right answer. Two is the right answer. So um, on your exam, all the, uh, the log problems, you can check your answer. You have the answer in your hand. Just show me the word. As long as you know how to check it. If you are clever enough. <clears throat> Do you have any questions so far? Uh, this is a very simple case for solving log equation. I have log on one side and the number on the other side. All you do is just switch back to exponential function or exponential equation. Um, it'll get harder. It'll get more complicated, but it's not hard. You still use the same position. All right, basic property. I claim that log base B of one equals zero. Is this true? How do I check? Again, the arrow thing, right? Is uh, I know we beat this to death, but we just gotta keep coming back to it. Um, B to, is B to zero equal one? Is it true? Yes, right. So yes, that rule is correct, right? Uh, I'll give you the example. Why don't you give me an example? You give me the example. Someone give me the example. A block base B of one equals zero. Any base. Logs base, pick a number, any base, the base you want. Huh? Base one. Oh, no, no, cannot. B cannot be one, remember. <laughs> um, B cannot be one and, and, ha and cannot be negative. So, all right, 13. Good. 13. And then what's the input? Input to me, I mean this one. No, no, no. You have to follow the rule. You gotta follow the rule. One, right? That's what I meant by give the example so you remember. Equal zero, which is makes sense, right? If 13 to zero is one. Another example. 
blocked. Oh, you got like big number <laughs> 24 of what? Of one again, right? Equal zero. Because 24 to zero equal one. Yeah, I'll give you another one. Um, Ellen. So Ellen of Ellen of one equal zero. Can you see that? Can you see that? What's LN means? What's LN equivalent to? Yeah. Of one equals zero, which just makes sense, right? E to zero equal one. Um, I recommend you remember this one. You see this a lot. <clears throat> So that's rule number one, the very basic one, basic one. Um, rule number two, block base B of B equal one. Is this true? You can check it yourself. Is it true? Yes, right? B to the first equal B. So yes. Give me an example. Hmm? Oh, no, 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 an example with this, with the, keep, keep with the one in the box, the, follow the box. Log. Log. Mm -hmm. <coughs> because 12 to the first is equal 12. Another example. <coughs> My throat very itchy, excuse me. By the way, I test uh, negative for COVID last night, so I, <laughs> I don't think I have COVID. Um, if I have COVID, I'd probably be tired, but I'm not tired. Uh, strep throat, but my throat is not hurt, it's just itchy. Yeah, I, I guess. If it, sorry for the image. If your mucus run down, it's making itchy. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, give me another example of this. Mm -hmm. can, can, can someone give me a more elaborate example? Oh, by the way, give yourself a bonus check mark. You've been doing it. No, no, no. I'll give you two bonus check marks for this elaborate, uh, like a complicated example. So, so log of bay of something, of something, equal one. <clears throat> yeah, it's not sure, um, but I don't want to do that. Maybe, how about pi? Equal what? What's what's in here? Pi. Right, pi. 
Why is the first view so far? All right, so that's enough of it. Um, just remember log base D of D equal one. <clears throat> Inverse properties. Remember what I said, log and exponential, they undo each other, right? They like matter and antimatter. Every time they go near, things disappear, right? Um, so this one right here, this one right here. Log maybe of B to the X equal X. This is a, uh, it's, just, it's just another case of this one. Do you agree? All I do is what? All I do is, don't write this down. All I do is put the X here and X here, right? So this, this one right here is a special case of this rule, right? Where X is equal one. So um, it is true, right? B to the X equal B to the X. For example, you should be able to pro at the example right now. Logs bay what? Logs bay two of so that's x, right? Log bay two, log bay two of two to the x, right? It's equal x. <clears throat> um, give me an example of ln. Why don't you do come up come up with ln example? Come up with log base E first. Someone. Just start writing down, write down. <laughs> you don't have to know everything all at once. Just log base E first, and then I'm gonna fill in. And I, I, I need an X on the right hand side. So what should be here? E to the X. Right. And what's ln of E equal? What's ln of E equal? Hmm? The other way of writing ln of base E is, I'm sorry, log base E um, is ln, right? So ln of E to the X is equal X. Is X equal one, ln of E equal E. Equal one, sorry. Something wrong, e to the, no, no, I'm right, I'm right, right? E to the X equal E to the X, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, equal X, sorry. That's what's wrong, sorry about that. Yeah, if, if, if X equal one, then L and E is equal one. The reason I'm writing this, I'm giving you the because they're important. You see it again and again on exams or uh, problems or homework. <clears throat> All right, for the, for the last one, um, it's, again, it's a, you, you can think of this as canceling. Do you guys remember what I say about exponential and loss, they undo each other? So, so when you composite, when you do composite, B2 cancel, remember back in the beginning of the, of the lecture, I talked about F of G, G of X to equal X at the end. Same thing here, right? They inverse, they cancel each other, so log and exponential cancel, but the X drop down to equal X. Same thing here. Log function and the exponential function cancel. So here, the the exponential is in the base, it's in the bottom, the log in the power, here the, the other way around. So here, um, hmm, hmm, maybe you say inverse, inverse, prop, inverse, bless you, inverse, bless you again. Um, uh, yeah, because, Bless you. <laughs> That's going in function. All right. You don't have, you just have to know it's not like something I test you, but you gotta remember the rule. Um, example, 
Someone give me an example. Something raised to the log base of something of x equal x. So here's mm -hmm. three raised to the power of log base three of x equal x. Okay. Because three and log base three, they cancel. Cancel. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Something more elaborate. Not pi, no pi, but how about this? Um, 10 to the log, log base 10, I'm not gonna write it, of x plus one equal what? What should be on the right-hand side? Yeah, x plus one, this, this cancel. Remember what I said, they, they cancel. So equal x plus one. If you understand me, if you will be able to give yourself an example, you're good to go. Very good, very good. E to the ln of x equal x. Very good, very good. Um, another note, if x equal one, then e to the ln of one equal one. Right. Very good, I'm glad you uh, come up with that example. Two bonus check mark for you. <clears throat> Oh God, yay, we did with all that uh, theoretical part. Now it's a fun part. You get to solve. Why don't I give you a minute? Um, I'll walk around, you guys solve those. In the meantime, I can return your quiz to you. The Ailey or Ivy? The Ivy? Oh, oh um, Ailey? Ivy. Ivy. Okay. Thank you. Amaya? Angelo? Yeah. Angelo? Yeah. Angelo? Welcome. Anthony? Yeah. Antonio? <laughs> Nick. 
Oma? Sam. Oh, this is Sam. Uh, Taylor. You don't have your name, but you say thank you. Uh, thank you for thank you with me, but what's your name? Uh, is it yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Vincent. Yeah. And Pam. Yeah, that's me. Thank you. <clears throat> what's your name? Ella? Yeah, I, I know. I just wrote. I, I, I say Ella, nobody. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's proud. Thank you. All right, number one, what you got? Very good. What rule do you use? Yeah, because. Yeah, that's right. B to the B of, uh, no, no, B to the log base B of X equal X, right? It's, it's nice to recognize who you use. Uh, number two. Hmm? Yeah, certify, same rule, right? Same rule. So I'm gonna do this. Huh? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Is the bay 10 here? We don't write it. What well, number three? Very good. What rule? Because log bay B of B to the X equal X. Mm -hmm. Four. Very good. My X plus one. Everybody see that? What rule am I using? This one, right? I did that again. <clears throat> e and LN cancel. I remember E and LN is the inverse. <clears throat> All right, so those are um, this one. There's another property it's called product property, quotient property, and power property, which I forgot to write. Let me remind you. The exponential, the, the product rule of the exponential function is this, a to the n times a to the n, what happened? What do I do? Yeah, a to the n plus n. And it's pretty much the same as log. If I have log base b of n times n, then it becomes a sum. Right? Log base b of n plus log base, base b of n. B cannot be one. Uh, sorry, B cannot be one, not zero. B one. <clears throat> I see people do this. Then I'm gonna write it down so you don't, hopefully you don't do it on the exam. Um, logs base B of M plus N. And it's so tempted, like me, I'm just gonna distribute the log base B. And they have log base B of M plus log base B of N, which is wrong, right? Um, there is no rule for the, for the, if you see something like this in the input, being added or subtracting, not, don't do anything, just leave it, just leave it. Or even subtracting, just leave it. <clears throat> uh, 
All right, um, but the second one is called quotient property. If I have division, it becomes subtraction. Division becomes addition. Division becomes subtraction. So log base B of M divided by N is equal log base B of M minus log base B of N. Um, this is similar to the quotient rule of the exponential. If I have A to the M divided by A to the N, it's equal A to the M minus N. Again, log base B of M minus N, it is not equal to the right-hand side. So watch out for that, okay? Don't do that. So the last one is called the power property. It's very similar to the name is just very powerful. If I have log base B of n to the p power, uh, I can bring the p to the front and then multiply to the log. Jeff called it the parachute rule. Do you remember what he said? The parachute rule. Um, my old professor, he called it parachute rule. So um, yeah, you bring the piece to the front and multiply it to the log. I got 8%. Okay, let's see. Oh, sorry, what, something happened. <clears throat> All right, for problem one to four, I want you to use, I want you to expand log, I mean, make it into multiple logs. For problem five to seven, actually, be five to seven, not six. I have to fix a typo. We're gonna combine logs. All right, so let's do one to four first. Um, if I wanna expand this using the, product properties, then it becomes what? Logs, a four of what? Plus what? Six times X. So logs base four of six plus logs base four of X, right? Product becomes sum. <clears throat> Does one do number two? Very good. Um, keep going. <laughs> You're right, we'll keep going. What's log base five of five equal? What's log of B? Log base B of B equal. Log base B of B. One. Right, log base B equal one. Um, so that's bit right here is equal one. So that one minus log base five of seven. You can check your answer. Let's check answer. <clears throat> I want to check if. So, Any on you, not in. there you go, one minus Minus, um, now go to math, because you need to pull up log. Go to math. Then uh, upper arrow, go to base. Base five here. And then input is seven. It's roughly negative 0 
oh nice oh six something like that something like that right so this one is the exact answer and this one the approximation i want to check if this is equal to so let's check. Log space five of five seven. <clears throat> Math again. Space five. Um, you can do five divided by seven, but I'm gonna show you how to use a fraction because sometimes it's not. It's as simple as that. It's just so I'm gonna do frax alpha and then frac. Alpha, frac, five over seven. The equal. So yes, we have the right answer. See on the exam, you can check your answer any way you want. Um, check. Number three, what rule do I use? Hmm? The power, right? So I'm gonna bring the two to the front. Okay, so the two times law, base three of x and then that's it that's all you can choose <clears throat> right get ready for number four um number four i'm going to show you two methods i think you like the short one but i just got to explain everything to you of course um so you understand. Let me show you the long, long way first. You don't like it, you don't have to do it. You do the short way next. Now, I see quotient. I'm gonna do the quotient rule first. So I have law, base five of x squared y to the four minus log base five of 25z. So far, so good? Quotient rule. It's top, log, log of top, subtract, log of bottom. Now I'm gonna use product rule. And I'm gonna take care of the first log. I'm gonna take care of this log first. Until I'm done. So product rule allows you to do what? Product rule, something times something becomes a summation with some addition, right? So what? Log base five of x squared plus log base five of y to the four, right? Forget about this one for a moment. I'm just gonna finish this. What rule should I use next? Power rule, right? Yeah, thank you. Is that what you? Yeah, thank you. Uh, power rule. So I'm gonna bring the two to the front. Bring the four to the front, so that I have two times log base five of x. I'm gonna trip everything down uh, to the bone. Um, plus four times log base five of y. Finally, we're done with that. Oh, we're done with the log. All right, now the second law, the second one, this one, minus. So let me move, uh, let me move this to the left so I have more room. I'm gonna put a bracket here or make your parenthesis. Um, inside here, it's still product rule, do you agree? 25 times Z, right? So it's still product rule. So tell me what it is. Log what? Yeah. Yeah, log base five of z. So far so good. You, you gotta have the bracket open to see because the negative is belong to everybody, not just the 25. Okay. Um, what log base five of 25 equal? Two bonus check mark for you, you can answer that one. No.
too, right? If you don't know, you can use your calculator. <laughs> I tell you certain things you can cheat. <laughs> um, but the, the rule is 25 of 5 squared, right? Logs base 5 of 5 squared equal 2, right? Logs maybe of u to the x equal x. Right? 5 and 5 cancel. So 2. <clears throat> Use a calculator. I'm telling you, there's a certain thing you can cheat and not being punished. Um, so minus two, minus log base five of z. When you put a parenthesis around the input, you gotta distribute that negative from the outside. <clears throat> Yay, we done. All right, let's do the. the this is the, the shorter way. The shorter way is this. Every time you see a the input in the numerator, it's going to carry a positive log. The one in the new denominator carries a negative log. That's all you need to know. Okay. So, <clears throat> the fast way is this. So, I don't know. It's going to be log base 5 of x squared plus logs base five of y to the four, because those are in the numerator, they carry positive log, minus logs base five of 25, and then also minus logs base five of z. And then now you use the power rule, two times logs base five of x, plus four times logs base five of y, minus, well, two, Right, minus logs base five of z. <clears throat> then you're done. Which one you like better? The faster way or the long way? The faster way. Right? All you have to remember is that the one on the top carries the positive log. Uh, everything, is, all the factors in the numerator carry the negative log. Uh, some people go from here to this step and it's fine by you. You put it up. Yeah. So <clears throat> let's do the fast way on number five. Should be five here, or I say four. Five. Right. Equal. Remember, this is x times square root of x squared minus one. So let's do the fast way. Someone tell me, what do I do? LN what? Remember each of them, each, every time you multiply something, each of those are factor. One factor, two factor, three factor. Okay. So what, X, LN of X, right? Because on the top, you're gonna have a positive log, so LN X minus or plus? X, uh, square of X squared minus one. Plus, right, because on the top, ln of square of x squared minus one. Um, it, it, yeah, yeah, I'll just leave it like that. And then minus what? Minus ln of e to the x. So e to the x is minus. How about this? Okay. Okay. Last, last, last thing, you have to clean up a little bit. ln x is ln x, nothing I can do. Um, I can do something more about this one. Can I rewrite the square root as one half? Like that. Then what do I do? What do I do with that one half? Bring it to the front, right? So one half times ln of x squared minus one. <clears throat> now, some people do this. They take the square root of this and this, and it becomes x minus one. No. Yeah, not do that. What's ln e of x equal? X, thank you. X. Put a check mark for you. Remember the note I wrote above? Yeah. Um, so rewrite this will be, my final answer is ln x plus one half ln of x squared minus one minus x.
Uh, we're gonna do number five, no, six, and seven. We call it a day, okay? That's what I start in the morning. Six and seven. All right. So for one, two, three, four, five, I ask you to expand law. So I give you one single law, and you're supposed to give me multiple law. Now reverse engineering. I give you a bunch of law. I want you to com combine it into one mother law. Is what I call it. Um. So let's use the the, the remember. Um, in, in, the, in the one that for the multiple law, um, what's the last step I do? The last step is I take care of the power, right? That's the last step. If you reverse engineer, taking care of the power will be your first step. So every every coefficient in front of the law is become the power of the input. Okay, so this so this one is law of x what x cubed where you move the three back move it back um plus log y minus what which is q root of z right Minus logs of x plus one to the fifth. Okay, which one on the top, which one on the bottom? So now one big log now. Which one on the top, which one on the bottom? <clears throat> yeah, so which one positive? So no, 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 what, what is gonna be? X cubed times y, and then the one on the bottom will be Q root of Z and then X plus one to the fifth. And you're done. Uh oh. Last one, someone give me the answer for last one. Which is Lock Kevin. <laughs> I'm gonna do it the last message, last time, last minute to say this. Lock Kevin. <laughs> All right, uh, that's it. Well, I stopped it in the, here in the morning. Have a good weekend and uh, I'll see you next week. When do we have an exam? Let me check a check. So I can give you the Okay. You just thank you. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, you too. See you. So The good thing is that next Friday we don't have class. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's nice. But so we have a quiz before that next Wednesday. Yeah. Okay, we have some time. Thank you. Thank you, Vincent. <laughs> it, a lot of people in this class have the same name of people I know, like Jeff, Sam, Vincent. <laughs> like calling my family members. Yeah. <laughs> So on a quiz, it appears I have like seven, but on here it says I have a four. So oh, your name is? Jacob Adams. Jacob Adams. Like that. Thank you, Alexi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you too. See you. Oh, hang on. You stay there. <laughs> but he probably messed up. What's your name? Jacob Adams. Uh, Adams is right here. Yep. Um, <clears throat> Two, right?
questo. Oh, I can't tell people to check it. Um, no, what, seven? Yeah, seven? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah. You too. Thank you.